Welcome back. This is part three of the Stretching Your Kit series. If you've not watched part one and two, they are linked below. So today we finally are going to put all of the goodies. Excuse me, Margo. The baby is sitting right next to me while I do this because she's in a good mood and not screaming today. So she's actually seven and a half months, so it's super exciting. Um, so we're gonna put all the embellishments we made on our layouts. So, I mean, I'm gonna do a couple with you, but I made 16 with just that little tiny kit. So we aren't gonna do all of them. So my idea on this is I wanna keep a lot of the white because I like the white and I'm gonna do a lot of just kind of hearts over here. So I'm going to use some of the hearts that I made and then I'm gonna use some that I punched out but didn't decorate yet, just so we can kind of get a balance. So I'll do some over here and some over here. But this is a really sweet picture. It's a picture of my dad and Margo. She's a couple days old. And my dad had two daughters. He had me and my sister. And then my sister had a boy and I had then two boys after that. Then she had another boy and then finally Margot came and they are good buddies. Scrapbooker, right? Yeah, you gonna scrapbook with me later? Not right now. You would eat everything. <laughs> what I have left, this is it. Watch, you see this. That's all that's left on my sticker sheet, which I have a couple little stickers, a couple alphabets that I couldn't figure out what else to use. And then 
that and that's it. I mean, I probably could have put more hearts here or there or a couple more tags, um, but I kind of feel like they're a little bit more busier than my normal anyway, so I kind of kept it like that. Other things I did use, I did use um, the Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. Um, I had used a little bit of twine. And then I did use um, two very, very, very old sticker sheets from Bella Boulevard, just a couple free stickers, because these colors went really well, even though they weren't a part of this collection, these colors went really well with the uh, Bella Boulevard one that I was using. So, I mean, if you, uh, you good luck. I got these on Scrapbooking for Less, and I think these are actually still on that website. They were like 50 cents a piece. So, let me show you what I created. It's the first one. So, everything is on white. Sorry, the light's not that great. Um, and then I did, so I did this in the first video. I made everything else in the second. Bless you, Reese. Sorry. And then um, I did the embellishing on my third part. And these stickers aren't sticking a lot. So I really like this little cluster. Everything's kind of just falling gracefully. It's just titled My Margot. So that's her cute little name. Second one. I can't decide if I like this or not. I like, I did actually, um, with the paint, I did the baby wipe technique that you just kind of smeared on with baby wipes and rub it around. And I find that this technique works really well with metallics just because it spreads a little bit easier. And it looks so cool just because of this textured American craft paper. Show you a close up of that. Because I was really limiting myself to just what was in the kit, um, I did use a roller stamp here. I forgot to show you that. I think that one is a Maggie Holmes. Um, I just kind of did a little, Adele from Inky Quill calls them sprinkles, like just little dots and stars, just to kind of add to it because I didn't want to bring in any other stickers that weren't a part of what I punched out with the sticker sheet. So that's two. Here's number three. Oops, I'll cut this off here. This one's kind of busy, but you know what? I'm fine with it. That's why there's a lot of white space. So there's number three. And this one's just called My Sis. So it's my two guys and their new little sister. So here's all the embellishments. And then one of my tags that I made, a little twine. I think this one came out really good. And there is a piece of foam behind that that I showed in the first one. But I feel like all the crazy is kind of limited to one area and there's just a lot of white. I'm gonna have to go back through and kind of stick these down a little better. That's one of the problems of older kits is the stickers aren't as awesome. Here's the fourth one. I really like this one because when I think I was originally doing it, I was like, it flows this way, but I decided to kind of make it go this way, which I'm fine with. So I feel like if I went this way, it was like too much with the eyes, her eyes. So I kind of wanted to just to bring it up. But this one's probably one of my favorites. There's no title. It's just real simple. I mean, not everything has to have a title, I don't think. Look how cute this little sticker sheet is piece that was in there but I really really am liking this one okay there we go. here's number five so this one kind of just flows through the page and I did draw a border just to kind of accent that like kind of like a loose little frame and there's a little bit of the Heidi Swap color shine on there. It's just really fun and gold. I just think pink and gold looks so good together. I'm definitely more of like a civil jewelry kind of girl, but I really like pink and gold in real life together. All right. The school bus just went by. 
Um, here, I think this is number five. These aren't in order at all. So it says three perfect kiddos. I was starting to run out of stickers and I was like, I'll do a, a kiddos. This S is actually a Q. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> so there's a border ship there and a little cluster at the top. And that's just another stamp that I used. And then I just layered a couple of tags here. I really like how this one turned out. I did kind of just a sloppy border there. And then I did a little bit more stamping here at the bottom just to kind of incorporate it. I mean, on a normal day, I don't really use these kind of colors. I kind of don't do anything this themed. So, I mean, I'm fine with this. This is my nephew and Margo. His birthday's actually coming up. This one's not like my favorite, favorite one, but this was, I think, the last one I did. So, I mean, I'm fine with it. I stuck a little tab here, little stickers, and then I started sketching around the hearts to kind of help his name's Atticus. So it's the first grandchild and the last one. I think she's probably the last. I think me and my sister are both done. I mean, I know I'm done. I can't speak for her. All right, this is the next one. I can't decide if I like this one or not. I mean, I kind of just went up the middle. I don't know. But I did use kind of just golds in the middle just to kind of tie everything together. I mean, I'm going to be honest. This one got away from me a little bit. I was just having a lot of fun with the glue. <laughs> but I think the border does help. And then I did trace around all of the different sheets to kind of help separate things. Because it was a lot of pink and it was a lot of embellishments. This is the next one, and I really liked this one. I did two little gold spurts here, and then, so there's just a little cluster. And that's me and Margo right after she was born. And then I did a little bit of journaling here. But I really like this one, it's just really sweet. This is a little bit more my normal style. Next one, that's Margo and her daddy. Oh. Little cluster, but I kind of made it, I wanted it to look like it was just like a wrapped present. And then a little Polaroid frame, big giant thing. If you can hear Reese, he, Jackson just went to school and he is in there. Playing Sonic. He's so cute. He's three and he loves Sonic. He was having a debate with my oldest about if Sonic was a dinosaur or not. And I mean, he's a hedgehog, but I mean, there could have been hedgehogs back then, you don't know. I don't like how this one turned out, but I, you know, you just gotta go with it. So I did, I tried to do like little clouds of gold and it just never, came together so I mean I'm fine with it and it's not gonna get redone but it's not my favorite and I titled this one mine forever she'll be like 15 mean like mom I can only imagine I was a really good teenager so hopefully she'll be well behaved and not be too crazy okay. I really like this one it's just so sweet, and I think that yellow border really, really kind of calmed it down a little bit. And then I just did a little, so there's a little one at top. So these are just three little tabs. And then the title's one, four plus one equals five. And there's another little, I like how these little clustery, sprinkly things came out. I think that looks really cute. And I use my new pen. All right, next one. I mean, this is a lot, and this was just from one kit, and I mean, I added the papers, and you saw what I used extra. Like, it's almost nothing. So, I mean, and I, it took me a while to cut the pieces for the embellishment, and it took me a while to put them together, but when I actually got everything 
completed and then just had to do the layouts. I did all of these in probably four hours. Like I just booked it and I did them when the kids were sleeping. So this one's really, really cute. So this is with Jackson. So Jackson is my oldest and he was very excited to have a little sister. When his brother was born, he wasn't even two yet, so he didn't really have any idea what was going on. So he was very excited about Margo coming and he walked in and he goes, hello, my baby. And he goes, my name is Jackson. I'm your big brother. And it was just the sweetest thing in right after, you know, having a baby and having a C-section. I just sat there and sobbed. It was just so sweet. So cute. All right. And there's big brother Reese. And he's still a little scared of her. He still just, he doesn't want to hurt her. In the beginning, he was pretty freaked out. So this one's just sweet kisses from Reese. It's very cute, very simple. Um, this one has the video in the front, so you already saw this. But I'll give you kind of a closer look, and that's my dad. This one's probably one of my top favorites I just love it I think that turned out really good it's just it's so sweet all right <laughs> this one's super funny this is the three of them I titled this one did we just become best friends yep it's from stepbrothers if you've never seen stepbrothers it's just really cute so they are, the three of them are, especially Jackson and Margo, they really, really like each other. Reese is just kind of at that age that he's figuring out what he likes to do. So it's hard for him to keep attention on her when he's just wanting to hang out with himself. All right, so here's the one pocket page I did. So this piece here, I moved things around a little bit just to kind of flow better. Um, all I did, because I love this paper so much, is I just did a border, I made a little cluster, and then I did use a tiny little wood here, wood veneer star, cause I just, I needed something. But this is just super cute. Then I did, sorry, there's a glare, a little bit of color shine, and a little embellishment. And the little hole is just from uh, when I was making a tap, the little hole punch. And then there's me and Marco, a little cluster. This was one of the cutouts and then I just put on some paper. Look how cute her onesie is. My friend Becca gave me those. It's just totally radish. <laughs> it's hilarious. This was on the branding strip. That sweet baby girl and I cut that out and just made a little cluster. So cute. That was one of my favorite onesies. Here's the back. So here's a tag that I made and then just put on the paper and made a little border. Next picture, and I just made a little cluster down here. This one doesn't have anything, but look at that little face. I mean, she's almost eight months. I cannot handle this. This was another cut apart. I just stuck on the paper. Didn't do anything there. And then this one I cut down and just journaled a tiny little bit. It's her first Barbie. One of my, we call her my aunt. Um, it's just a friend of the family. She has a farm and we went to visit them right before we got pregnant with Margot and they have chickens and stuff. So she wanted a little Barbie with chicken. So, I mean, that's it. Can you believe all of those? So I'm telling you, all of these were done in a couple hours. As soon as I had all those embellishments done and all the pictures were already on there and backed. I mean, do I like this one? I don't know, I can't decide. I really can't. There's like two or three that I'm just like, meh. So, I think I like it. I don't know. This is going to be one I think I go through. I'm like, I just do not know. But that's it. Thank you guys so much. If you watched all three parts, I'm really impressed with you. <laughs> I hope that you try this challenge yourself. If you do, I actually just started an Instagram for this. And I would love for you to tag me in it. Um, if you, I'll put the link to my Instagram below. But... Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, 
you need to see something even more up close or you want to know how I did something, put it down in the comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, come on, you got to subscribe. Now with YouTube's new rules, I need like a thousand subscribers, which is a lot for scrapbookers because everybody kind of likes to just look at what they look at. So have a wonderful day and I will see you really soon. Bye.